Hey everybody, this is Rod from the Ask for Kicking the Bobo. Welcome to Minnesota. This is a nice little spring day. As you can see, the snow is just starting to melt in everybody's yard. This is the first day of the year that me and Mrs. Dasper kicking the bobo has started walking. There she is right there in front of us. She always walks faster than I walk. But, you know, she says, what you say? Lifestyle change, good health, and weight loss. You hear that? Now, I got hope I can follow it because sometimes I'll be like, I don't feel like walking. I have a hard day at work. But she says she's going to keep me, I guess, on it. So I'm going to try my best. But we are back. We're in our own state. In actuality, this state is very beautiful. It's a beautiful state. And since the next time I'm gonna be going to Africa probably won't be until August or October, you know, probably Gambia or Guinea-Bissau. So we're gonna be showing you things in Minnesota that is fun to do, you know, different lakes, Lake Calhoun, Lake uh, Superior. Superior, Lake uh, Minnetonka, all those places, you know, the Mall of America. That's another one. I did one on Mall of America, but it's just a small one. But I'm going to do another one on the Mall of America sometimes, maybe in June, you know. So it's going to be an adventure, you know. But also, too, I'm going to start doing going live in April, hopefully on Mondays between 7 and 8 o'clock. And I'm going to be discussing business ideas and see how you, what you think about it. You know, because I believe that, you know, everybody should have input. You know, you might have an idea that I don't know about, you know, or you might say, hey, why don't you try this with that? You know, as you know, I own a counseling services and a DWI service. So, you know, I'm not a stranger to starting a business and making a little money on businesses, you know, because my ultimate goal is to invest in some of the West African countries, you know? And that's what my plans are. But so stay tuned for that live, you know, sessions. Also too, if you can invite somebody to those live sessions, you know, because this is going to be a team effort, you know? Don't think that I'm gonna ask you for some money to support a program because I don't do that. You know, if you decide to invest, then you're gonna get something out of it. It ain't like you're gonna be getting, uh, you're gonna be giving me stuff and you're not gonna get anything out of it. But you know, the thing about it is it's gonna be exciting. But, like I say, I'm taking a walk in the neighborhood, and this neighborhood is a nice neighborhood. It's a middle-class neighborhood, you know? Nice houses in the neighborhoods, you know? As you can see, gorgeous, you know? It's a uh, neighborhood full of Africans, African-Americans, uh, the others, Asians, Hispanics. You know, we all get along, you know, as far as nowadays, you know how you can live next door to a person and you don't know their name for 10 years, you know, yeah, that's where society has come, you know, and I got somebody to live next door to me that I don't know their names. I see them, I wave, and that's about it. Then on the other side of me, we talk. Not every day, but we talk. Across the street, neighbor, have no idea what their name is. But, you know, everybody gets along. What can you say? That's society today. I don't think it's that way in Africa, though. When I visited Africa, we spoke to everybody. Everybody went out of their way to speak to us. It was fun. <laughs> 